sponsored by West Beer. We are here in Underbelly Pasture with Paul F. Taylor. Hi. How are you doing today, Paul? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm, I'm brilliant. Sprightly. Good, sprightly. <laughs> That's an interesting word use. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think I'm sprightly too. Fantastic. Two sprightlies. <laughs> So you've got a, a stand-up show at the moment running, which is called The Greatest Show in the World Ever. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about it? It's a very tantalising title. Yeah. Yes, it certainly is a big up title. Um, basically, it's me thinking I've got the greatest show in the world ever, yeah. but I don't. Okay. Um, basically, the whole point is that I, I've, I've purchased a show that's the greatest show in the world ever. And uh, it, it, it's, it's mythical. It's a mythical, amazing show, but uh, it, it's empty. There's nothing in it. So that I have to fill the remainder of the time. That's basically it. Okay. Ooh. Um, you say that when you're talking about the show, the overriding theme is that there are no shortcuts in life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't buy a show in a box. That's basically Yeah. Don't. There are no shortcuts. Yeah. I think you have to develop your own show. From your own point of view, and uh, that's the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, what what inspires your stand-up? Uh, uh, everything, mm. the world that I see it as, I guess. Do you use any specific experiences? Specific experiences? No, no, God, no. <laughs> I use every experience. Uh, what do you mean, like in terms of specific experiences? So, do you have? Have you ever kind of had a, a really awkward encounter with someone that then becomes a, a stand-up oh. sketch or piece? Or uh, no, not really. I think it's more about me observing things and objects and uh, items and coming up with my views on how. I perceive those. So it's really quite observational, mm. I think, majority of what I do. There's, there's maybe a couple of bits where I talk about uh, interactions with people, yeah. but I'm not really too interested in that. That's <laughs> <laughs> not what I do. So how did you get into stand-up in the first place, then? Uh, I was writing down lots of things I thought were funny for a few years, mm. and I hated my job, so I What did you work as before? IT support. Okay. So yeah. It's a big switch, actually. <laughs> IT support um, to stand up. It is, yeah. And then I went travelling and did some gigs while I was travelling, and then decided that was what I was going to do. And then kept doing it, and then people started paying me money, and then I went, hey, maybe I can do this. And then I did it, and now I'm still doing it. What do you like about um, performing up at the fringe? Uh, that you can start drinking at 12 and no one bats an eyelid. Okay. That's good. <laughs> We cater to that here. Um. No, no, I like that it's, there's loads of people doing loads of different things and it's bonkers. There's so much stuff happening all the time in loads of different places. It's really quite inspiring. Um, there's loads of different, I, I quite like going to see various different types of show, not just stand up or anything like that. Cause it's really quite inspiring and makes you think in different ways. Uh, that, that's the end of that. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much for chatting to us, Paul. And you can see the show. It's running until the 24th. Um, yeah, is that right? 24th? Yes. And it's on at 7.30pm yeah. at the Dram House Dram. upstairs. And yes. definitely go check it out. It's very, very funny. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>